Alrighty, so at this point I have finished, I want to get that off of there. I have finished my, I don't remember, um, sorry, I just want that little piece of blue tape off of there stuck. Okay, uh, I'm finished my front of the, the sole and now I'm starting to think about the back part and I, it took me a while to kind of break it down and figure out how I was going to do it because um, uh, it feels like it doesn't really change that much in thickness. So if I take material off, I'll shrink it down too much. So I have to be careful how much material I take off and how many pieces I take it off from because I measured from here to here and it came out to be an inch and a quarter which is a quarter inch smaller than the highest point. So if I just put the 10, just imagine it's one inch. So I, I put the 10 here and you can kind of see that at that point it is, actually it's a little bit more than an inch and a, and a quarter. It's it's um, pretty close because of the, maybe it didn't compensate for this green part that popped out. I didn't see that. Um, and then here, it's an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more, but um. So it just goes down about a quarter of an inch and it stays consistent all the way through. So that means that I should only take off because the thickness of this is almost a quarter of an inch. So I don't want to shave it all the way down to the paper for one of them, but I might shave two or three of them just a little bit off each time. So that way it went, once I bend it up, it will compress a little bit more here than it does in, in the wider part. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you, I'm going to keep this there and I'll show you what I've done with the front. Okay. So this goes here and how that works out. So I'm going to stack my papers. <laughs> um, there you go. Sorry. I was looking at this the wrong way. So this, the idea is that it's going to bend up just like you see here. And then this side is going to bend up as well because this, this can bend up too because we scored it. But as you can see, it's, it's an even thickness bending up. So if I just take a little bit off a couple of these guys, then it should start to shrink. Now, some things that I'm not concerned with, I'm, I'm concerned with the form. Some things I'm not concerned with at all is the design here. I don't know if you can see there's like a textured surface and there's a little cut out here. I'm not concerned about that. It, it, it kind of tapers down. I mean, if you want to, you could probably shave some of this and think about um, that later on. But for now, I'm just kind of thinking about the basic, basic curve and shape. And then I can step it up a notch later and at the very end. And that would be the, the um, work general to specific. That'll be more specific stuff. Um, this little point here might be, be difficult uh, at this time. And maybe I can take a piece of scrap from something else and, and try to add that on later. But for now, it's going to just create a point just by lifting up. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to, uh, oh, before I do, do that, I just want to show you. So if I take the top piece off, you can see how I've basically shaved all of these pieces, slowly, tra gradually transitioning down. And I just did one by one by one by one. And you can just kind of see how I'm just carving basically, um, or like peeling <laughs> a potato. Um, and then the next thing, I'm going to take my first one, and I've labeled them seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, so I don't get them confused. This stays the same, this stays the same. This one, what I've done is I've measured an inch and a quarter here. I put it on top of this guy, and then I marked exactly where that is with my pencil, which I can't find. I'm sure it's under all this stuff here. Hey, there it is. And I marked it right here with my pencil and I just kind of made a mark there. And then from that mark, I made a mark here and, and then I put a, put a point here. So, and then I just kind of made a little curve here just to, so when I carve it, I kind of have a curve to transition and it's been, it worked with that and it's working with this. So I might as well just keep at it. 
Now, I'm not going to cut anything off. I don't want to. I'm just going to um, slice a little bit off. And when I glue this together, just so you know, your, your hot glue depends on the temperature. And I, we have a low hot glue gun that came with the kit, so it shouldn't melt the foam, but it might. Um, and it sticks to the paper well, but when you glue the foam, you don't want to melt the foam. So when I glue this together, I'm going to use either Eileen's Tacky Glue or Elmer's White Glue. And I'm going to set it up and let it dry overnight. Um, and then I, once it's dried and cured, then I can um, take it and carve it and, and things like that. The hot glue, it might be good for when you put tabs in on the inside of this shoe, and that's for stage two. Um, and I still kind of have to play around with that my, myself, but it just kind of works faster, so you can work faster and not wait for a tab to dry. Don't use hot glue putting this together um, the Elmer's or the Eileen's is much more durable and permanent. Okay. So you can see I left a little bit, a little shred there. And I think I'm going to go all the way to the line because this is where it used to be. There. So I'm just going to go carve a little bit more off. And I can carve more off later, so I'm just going to put this here. I think I'm going to maybe take maybe I'll do I'll I'll leave one intact, and then I'll do the, the other one. Not every other one. I think I'm just going to um, apply this to two of them. So I think I, I think I had like a, a drawing like this, something like that. So again, that just gives me the guide, and I'm gonna apply it to this one too, and that might be enough because you you add these two together, it might be a quarter inch, um, and if it's not, then I'll just do it to a third one, just a little bit, a smidge, and see if I subtracted a quarter inch from the thickness and if I did then I'm, I'm good to go I'm ready to glue the other thing that I just kind of learned is that um, when you bend these together they don't stay flat once you bend them up they kind of move the, the top layers become bigger than the bottom light layers so they'll have to be shaved off as well much like I'm doing right now so this is a great tool for this project. Such a good tool because I can kind of sliver and cut skinny little pieces here, as you see. And it seems like a lot of work just to do the heat, the, the base. Um, I was gonna say the heel, but the uh, sole, but um, it, in the end, it's worth it. You only have to do it once and everything's built from there up. And if it looks a little off, then it's not gonna look good. All right, I'm almost there. can already tell that it worked um, you can you can just look really quickly how it starts to kind of taper down at the end there and when I curl it up and that's basically what's happening here it's 
starts to do the same thing. So this is working out. And I might take another visit while I'm not being recorded and just perfect it a little bit. Um, and what I, what you want to do is you just want to like really study this and study this. And if you have to do any uh, adjustments to perfect it, then perfect it. Do what you got to do. But you can kind of see it's starting to work. And the thickness of this basically is the same as that. I think it's maybe this might be a sixteenth of an inch thicker, maybe maybe an eighth. But the thickness of this is three sixteenths. So I'm just going to go with the lesser instead of more. Uh, not a big deal. All right. See you later.